Hi, my name is Gerald Simon. I'm the president and founder of Music Motivation. And right now I'm going to play for you my new cool song and cool exercise. Every Friday I come out with a brand new cool song and cool exercise. It's part of my cool songs and cool exercises annual subscription. Right now I'm going to play for you Water Boy Blues. Now, I'm sure we all have our own Water Boy Blues experiences. Some may be a little more entertaining and different than the rest of ours, but I'm going to be playing Waterboy Blues. The right hand is playing a blues pentascale. Watch what happens as I play this with all the instruments. Now it's fun to play with all of those background instruments and again my right hand is playing the blues pentascale. Watch my left hand. It's going back and forth, okay, playing a perfect fifth and then a major sixth interval, kind of a barrel house blues left hand pattern. I'm going to play again at practice tempo where I cut everything in half. Slow it way down about 60 beats per minute. Listen to this. Now, again, it's fun, and it's fun to play along with all of those background instruments because you get the feeling like you're playing with a band. Look what my left hand is doing right here at the beginning. If you notice, my left hand is playing the perfect fifth interval, and then we go to the major sixth, and we're rotating back and forth. Many times, this is referred to as a a barrel house blues left hand pattern because we have that pattern rocking back and forth and I can do that starting anywhere going through any key moving up in half steps it's a good little exercise and many times I will have my students practice playing that left hand pattern again it's the perfect fifth interval followed by the major sixth, and I just go through every key, moving up in half steps. Now, the right hand is primarily doing variations on this blues pentascale. Now, the blues pentascale 
the best way to create this and to teach this to students is to have them play a C minor chord, C, E flat, G. But instead of playing one, three, five, as I traditionally would, I'm going to play one, two, five. Now my thumb is on C, my second finger is up on E flat, and my pinky is up on the G. One, two, five. Now the fourth finger is half a step below the pinky on the F sharp or G flat, whatever you want to call it. And then the third finger is half a step below the fourth finger. That is F natural. So watch, C, E flat, F, F sharp, G. And of course we have a swing rhythm, so I'm swinging the eighth notes. That just means I'm playing a long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. And many times people will say, well, why don't they just write out the music the way it should be written? And instead of playing this, we would have long, short, long. So we would have a dotted eighth note followed by a sixteenth note. Da, 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 da. And, and that's nice, we could write it out like that, but many times then it sounds like we are classically trained trying to play jazz. We, we don't have that jazz rhythm because even writing it out like that, it still is very mechanical. Jazz is all about feeling emotion, okay? So you really have to watch yourself as you are playing because you need to have that feeling. It's that jazz feel, kind of a laid back, you are grooving is what you are wanting to do. Okay, very laid back. So once they learn how to play this blues pentascale, I will then have them try that. In all keys, moving up in half steps, just to begin with, and then we can follow the circle of fifths or circle of fourths, okay? It all depends, but we can do it in all keys. And so I have the students practice that because they're playing the minor chord and then they move up half a step each time. Play the minor chord, move up half a step, play the minor chord. And again, it doesn't matter where I go, the pattern is the same. So watch, I can do it with my left hand. Now with my right hand, let's do it again, watch this. I said with the right hand you take the fourth finger, half a step below the pinky, and the third finger, half a step below the fourth finger. Well, let's try it on F. F major, F minor. Now fourth finger, half a step below the pinky. Third finger, half a step below the fourth finger. And the nice thing about jazz music and blues, once you understand these patterns, you can play those patterns any rhythm you want, any order, it sounds good. If I start playing around, and with my left hand, I can either do the fingering of five and one, and it just extend the thumb, or I can put my second finger there as well. So watch this. Again, with my right hand, I'm just playing around. Sometimes I'll have the students call out random numbers. One, five, one, four, three, two, one. Two, one, two, three. One, four, one, five. Five, two, three, one, four. And I'm calling out random numbers. It doesn't matter what number I call out, as long as it's one through five. And then I can play the rhythm any way I want. And it's a fun way to take what we've learned with Waterboy Blues and take it to the next level. Right now I'm going to play the cool exercise that goes along with this for this week. And again, this exercise is having the students practice mastering that blues pentascale. And then I encourage and challenge my students and all teachers and their students to play that blues pentascale in all keys. So let me play for you the cool exercise for this week. Here we go.
Now that is the cool exercise for this week, and that is performance speed, and I'm playing along with the drums and a guitar. Now I'm going to play the same thing at practice speed. This is cut in half about 60 beats per minute again, so let me play this for you, and then I'll talk a little bit more about what we can do with the blues pentascale and with the left hand pattern of the barrel house blues after I play this. Now it's a fun pattern to begin to do something with. So watch this, I'm going to take my left hand pattern, and this is just a barrel house blues left hand pattern, again the perfect fifth followed by the major sixth. I can do this on C, F, and G. With my right hand I'm going to play the C blues pentascale, then I'll go up to the F blues pentascale. F, A flat, B flat, B natural, and then C. And then I'll go back to the C blues pentascale. And then I'm going to go up to the G blues pentascale. Now, this entire time, watch what my left hand does. I'm playing on C, and then I go up to F, and I do the 5th to the 6th intervals on F, and then I go up to G, and I play the 5th to the 6th intervals on G. So now, I'm just going to play around with my right hand, and honestly, I'm just creating whatever numbers come into my head 1 through 5. Watch this. What if I said 1, 5, 1, 4, 3? Now, I'm swinging the 8th notes, okay? So we have the long then the short, okay, long, okay, so we're kind of swinging those eighth notes, okay, long, short, long, short, bum, bum, ba, ba, da. what if I did two, one, two, three, what if I did one, three, one, four, what if I did five, 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 four, three, and I'll do quarter notes for the five, five, and then I'll go Five, four, three, as eighth notes. Five, five, two, one, two, three. Okay? So again, two, one, two, three. And I can start to improvise and play around. Watch, I'm just going to take just a second and I'm going to practice doing that left hand pattern with the right hand, and I'm improvising whatever comes into my head, I'll just kind of play around. And again, with my right hand, all I did, I took the blues pentascale, and then I did add the B flat, which is the minor seventh interval, 
See, the blues scale has those blues notes in jazz music. The third and the seventh come down half a step. So those are your blues notes, the third and the seventh. So I played that. Now for now, I would just have you stick with the pentascale, the blues pentascale, only those five notes, and try playing those in all keys. and you can start to improvise and play around with it. I hope you've had fun with this cool song and this cool exercise for the week. Every week I come out with a brand new cool song and cool exercise, something to help get the students excited, to get the teachers excited. For the teachers, it's kind of like a game plan, a lesson plan. They have a new cool song and cool exercise every single week. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. You can email me at Gerald Simon, J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N, at musicmotivation.com. You can also visit my website, which is musicmotivation.com, to learn more about these cool songs, cool exercises, and also all of the free resources I have available on my website that anyone can download. I hope to see you next Friday. Have a wonderful week. Until then, thank you so much.